actually it's Nicole Lauren I'm a fresh and style so it is almost happy mama's day I am a mom of two amazing boys and I know a lot of you that follow me are mamas as well if you are new to my channel be sure to hit that red subscribe button so you guys don't miss out we are gonna go on a little adventure into one of my favorite stores I think you know it well Target you guys are like girl I'm already in the parking lot I already am getting my Starbucks coffee I'm ready to go down the aisles here's the deal you guys have lists right like you've got a list of like I need the laundry detergent and the paper towels and the diapers and the baby food and the pineapples and the apples and the toilet cleaner like you got all that stuff and then maybe if we're lucky we get to throw in like a cute lipstick and a headband maybe right but we've got stuff that we got to get but today for mama's day for mother's day i am going to take you down the aisles of target and show you all of the things that you guys need to get pampered to look super cute everything that i love and if anyone's asking you what you want for mama's day you're gonna know what to say mother's day is almost here and it is a day to go shopping it is a day to get pampered it's a day to go down the aisles of target and see what super cute things they have you guys stay tuned till the end because i've got i got a story for you so it was one year i think my kiddo was like three-ish give or take i had just gotten out of the shower and he's like mommy come look what i made you for mother's day and i was so excited i'm like oh my gosh what did you make me and then I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, how do we fix this? You're not gonna wanna, you're not gonna wanna miss this. It is literally, it, it's one of the memories that I never get out of my head because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is an epic, this is an epic present, but uh, like, how do we fix this? How do we fix this? So join me inside, I'm gonna take you down the aisles of Target and show you all the things that you're gonna need to get pampered for Mother's Day. So as soon as you walk in, they have the super cheap area in Target. I always get stopped here. So mamas, I don't know about you, but we need some inspiration daily. You belong among the wildflowers. You belong somewhere you, where you feel free. You feel like sunshine. And then they've got these super cute mirrors here. And then they've got these really cute pillows. You feel like sunshine. And they are between three and five dollars. I think you guys need to have these in your life to feel like you belong with the wildflowers. Starting off right, Target. Every mama needs her super cute bikini. There will be a beach shop with me coming soon. But you guys need to find your bathing suits. You need you guys need to find your super cute cover-ups because what better way to be pampered than to buy yourself new swimwear and then go to the beach or go to the pool or go to the hot tub and relax. Look at this hidden gem cover-up I found. It's like a vet V in the front, a V in the back. It's got this super cute boho detail. It's a nice sheer material. Wait for it, wait for it. It's got fringe. You know your girl loves fringe. Mamas, look at these super cute stylish backpacks. They have all different sizes. They've got medium size, different texture. This is more of a leather. This is more of like a cloth material. They have smaller ones, they have bags that have the ropes for them. So many super cute options. One of my obsessions is earrings and I love earrings Target has. I actually just bought these ones last week for a photo session that me and the boys did. These Scream Boho and they've got matching necklaces. I found the clearance table, 30 to 70% off. What headbands do they have? because you know your girl is obsessed with headbands. So they've got headbands on sale. They have some really cute earrings. Oh, they have bows for $3.98. Do we like these? You know, I'm always finding the bows. What's on the back here? They've got cute tassel ones, necklaces on clearance, and even some hair ties. You guys, I found the table of headbands. You know I have a headband obsession. I have this one, I have this one, I want this one. I wish this like spun. I need, I need this like in my house to store all of my headbands because it's becoming a problem. I bought a small organizer like these, but it doesn't fit enough stuff. Um, I don't really like these ones, but I'm loving these. It's not as like braided. I actually have this one on right now. Maybe I need the other color of it. I love the leopard. If you guys do not rock headbands yet, you need to try one on. Try one on, trust me. It literally makes your messy bun super cute every time. So I've also been wanting to try these, the hair ties that have the little like 
bow that hangs, I think I could probably rock these. I probably can't rock it with my headband, so that's the only problem, but I think I wanna try one, and I like these that have the bows. And I can't wear these headbands. A lot of you have asked me. So these ones that go all the way around your head, they literally pop off and fall. But the ones that are just the half, they are perfection for me. And I think I might need one. Which one do you guys like? I kind of like this one. I think I need this. And then it can hang like over your messy bun. How super cute is this? I definitely feel like Target has stepped up their purse game. They have literally every shape and size and color. And oh my goodness, hold please, I found beach bags. I am loving these wicker beach bags. Look at this one with the detail on the handle. And then it's got the beads here. And they're only $35. That is not bad at all. And I'm also loving this one that has this tassel on it. This is only 40. This is big. Let me step back. You could fit a lot in here. And I pack a lot for the beach. So cute. So many cute bags. Okay, mama, so you're planning those pampering beach and pool trips. We need to talk about the hat. Okay, so last year I bought one and it actually got wet and then it wasn't like, it was super floppy, like it was covering my eyes. I think I wanna get one like this. I think this one's gonna win the day for me. Is it too big? Is it too floppy? Wait, do I have the wrong angle? There it is. What do you guys think? I think I have to have this. Like, does this not scream pamper? I'm gonna put on my hat, I'm gonna put on my new bikini and my new cover up with my headband and my lipstick, and I'm gonna go relax. What do you guys think, seriously? I think I might need it. But seriously, when this one got wet, my black one, it was like, like this, like I covered my whole face. So is there a trick? I don't know the trick. What do you guys think? Should I just walk around Target with it and see what everyone thinks? I'm kinda liking it. Pretty woman vibes. Here is all the options and there is a lot. Like I'm loving the different textures, I'm loving the different colors, I'm loving the different sizes. But wait, there's more. I'm kind of loving that one. It's like a boho-ish. And I'm loving this one. Do we need like a hat collection? How many hats is, how many hats can the declutterer have? <laughs> but there's more. I mean, Target is where it's at for your summer hat. Okay, so I'm looking for super cute dresses and because what else screams pampering besides putting a super cute dress on? I don't really know what's happening. I saw this in another store, like the dress options. Like, this looks like Little House on the Prairie. I don't, I don't really understand what, what, what the vibe is. I, I'm not finding the cute summer dresses here to be pampered in. Do you guys like this? Little House in the Prairie vibes, right? Like where's, where's the pretty woman? I think we gotta go back to the beach cover up section. I don't know. I'm not feeling these ones. I'm gonna go hunt on the other side. Okay, so I knew I would find some super cute ones in the beach section, go figure. But this one is adorable. Look, it's got like the knot bows. It's got the buttons and it has pockets. Bows, buttons, pockets, like yes please. And then this one's really cute. This is just a simple striped basic dress and it's got the razor back in the back there and then I'm loving this one now obviously these ones are more like beach cover-up um, some of them are see-through but I don't know what's happening with all the other dresses all right let's see what else we can find um you guys stop I just found the most cutest thing that I'm obsessed with I'm gonna literally show you my excited face for a second look at these okay tie bow wait for it they're pants they are like boho, beach, summer, get pampered, go to the spa, pants. They come in white. I love black and they come in black. I think I have to have these. Like, and then they're cut down here. These are just the perfect boho pants. I am obsessed. So next time I'm on the hunt to find all of the skincare, the bath bombs, the face mask, my favorite lipstick, all the stuff for your bath time and relaxation and my favorite products. Those of you that follow me know I'm obsessed with my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. They have tons of colors in Target and I love these ones because they actually don't come off. Like I put these on in the morning. Let me show you. This one's one of my favorite shades here. I have the hot pink one here. I'll put the link below that you guys can order these, but they are my favorite. They're only $7.99 and they literally last all day. I'm literally staring at the shelf trying to figure out what colors I don't have at this point because I have so many and I wanna buy a new lipstick and I really can't figure it out. I literally have all of them. I have one on right now. That is one of my favorite colors. But guys, common misconception is you ladies are like, oh, I just need a new lipstick for date night. No, you need a lipstick for every single day. You guys need to put your lipstick on and go take on the world and you've gotta try Maybelline. It is literally the best. 
I think the one I have on now is Lover, but I'm obsessed with every single color. Link below, you gotta get yourself some lipsticks, girl. Pamper yourself, own the world. Next on the list is you guys need to get yourselves a face mask. So I've actually tried this brand. I've tried several of them. I really like it. I like the cooling avocado one. I love the energizing one. It's got like a little bit of peppermint oil and it has like a nice refreshing feel. And then I've also tried the watermelon. I think I want to try this one next. I love lavender. It's a mud mask. And then each of them have a little something different, but they don't leave you feeling like super sticky. And when you wash these babies off, it is amazing. Even the package is soft. Like the package literally feels like the mask. Real talk. Do you guys use a loofah or you use a face cloth? Because I thought that everyone in life used a loofah because I cannot get my soap and body wash sudsy on a face cloth. I always have to have a loofah and I've gotten my kids obsessed with loofahs and I figured out that a lot of people use face cloths still. And I'm like, how? You guys need a loofah. You need to like lather it and get it all soapy and then wash yourself with it. They have multicolored ones. Drop in the comments below. Loofah? face cloth. Lufa wins the day for me. So they have some amazing sugar scrub and I'm kind of intrigued about these sugar squares. Um, I don't really know what these are about. Let's see. Directions. Cleansing and exfoliating sugar cube scrubs are perfectly portioned one shower per. Okay, so it's like literally one cube per shower and I'm kind of down for that and they smell amazing. I just smell them. This one smells really good. And then they have a, um, a coconut one. And then they have bath fizz and lavender. They also have this foaming bath sleep bath that has lavender in it. They have the body washes, the body scrubs, the bath bombs, and the lotion. All of you definitely need your Epsom salt. We're gonna do a nice foot bath with those. And they have nice smelling ones now. They used to just have one scent, but I, look at this. Himalayan sea salt. I think we all need this in our life. In case you like headbands as much as me, they're also hidden in the hair aisle. I mean, look at these. This is this is a big bow. I like big bows and I cannot lie. You guys know that, right? You can put it in your ponytail. I wish they had a different color because sometimes when I like, have a black headband on right now and it kind of matches my hair, but like if this was like hot pink, oh, so cute. So I got a lot of questions about which body wash I actually use and you guys, I hope they have it in right now. I don't think they have the scent. Okay, I'm gonna show you the brand. I'll show you the scent, um, I'll link it below. But this brand is absolutely amazing. It's called Love, Beauty, and Planet. All natural, all vegan, and it smells amazing. I've used this one, so this is the coconut water. It smells so good. The one that I use, I think I saw it in the shampoo. I'll go show you the scent that I use, but it's in this. Um, I can tell you, that I tried these, wasn't a fan. So the bar soap of them made my skin super sticky, but the body wash of them, oh my gosh. They have a lavender, if you guys like lavender scent. They also have roses, I'm not really a rose person. Best body wash, put it on your loofah, trust me. I'm gonna go see if I can find the scent. It's in the shampoo, but you've gotta see the scent of the body wash. It is amazing. Stay tuned, hold please. All right, I found it in the shampoo, but this is the smell that I get in the body wash. So this is what it looks like. And it's actually called turmeric and tonka essence. It literally is like shea butter, coconut, soothing. It is the best thing ever. Like, mm, I wish you could smell it through the phone. It smells so good. They do have it in shampoo and conditioner. I haven't tried that yet. Next on the list is the way to any mama's heart. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Yep, that's right. Target has an entire aisle of wine. You're welcome. I'm gonna show you my favorite ones. So my all-time favorite wine I can actually only find at Target. It's called Relax. How fitting. It's pink. How fitting, right? It tastes so good. It's kind of like a sweeter wine, like a Moscato, but it has a little bit of higher alcohol content than the Moscato. Mamas, you've gotta try this one. It is so good. I also love the wine cans with the bubbles in them. I just think they're super fun. I've tried all of these brands. I love this one here, and then there's a Yes. Where is it, where is it? Oh, yes, way rose. So I'm curious, what are you guys' favorite wines? Like literally drop in the comments and tell me, I'm always looking to try a new brand and a new kind. I used to drink red and now I only like white and I'm actually a Savion Blanc girl. So they've got tons of options here. What's your favorite kind of wine? And when you have wine, you've gotta have chocolate. You've gotta have chocolate. So these are my all time favorite. I love the truffles and I actually don't see my favorite ones. So I love chocolate and peanut butter. Like I'm totally a Reese's girl, but Justin's has these little ones that I always get in here. Oh 
Oh my gosh, look at the size of that. Talk about Mama's Day, right? Tell your kids. Tell your kids to get you that. So like, they have these Justin's peanut butter bars. I don't see them here, but they are my all-time favorite. They taste just like Reese's. They're a little bit healthier. And then I do love all of the Godiva, all of the truffles, all the things, all the chocolate things we need. I didn't find the Justin's I usually get, but I did find the wall of Reese's. But side note, I'm kind of a Easter egg and Christmas tree snob when it comes to Reese's because there's like triple the amount of peanut butter. Anybody else feel that way? My favorite spot in the store is actually Joanna Gaines line. There's my girl. I love her so much. Um, Fix the Wrapper, Chip and Joanna, they are amazing. They have their collection in Target, which is my favorite collection ever. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to home decor and just having cute stuff around, new stuff that matches your vibe, get, picks up that energy that you wanna create in your house, it makes me feel pampered, it makes me feel relaxed. So I suggest that you guys pick up some stuff from this collection or even decor from the whole store to kind of make your house be your sanctuary. When you go in your bathroom, you should feel relaxed. When you make that bubble bath, when you put those bath bombs in, you should feel relaxed. You should have flowers. You should have pictures on the wall. I'm gonna show you my favorite items that she has. She's got so many super cute things out right now. Let me set the mood for you. You have this glass flowers on your bathtub. You've got your nice wicker on the floor. You're sitting in the bathtub with your wine and your chocolate and you have this super cute shower curtain. It's nice and light and airy and white. It's got fringe on it. You have towels that are super plush and super soft and light. When you step out of your bathtub, you step on this cute towel that's got fringe on it. You're reminded that you're in the powder room. You're reminded it's your sanctuary. You've got your super cute hand towels. You have all the candles going that smell amazing, by the way. This one, oh God, I don't wanna break it. It's heavy. I'm having issues. I can't lift a candle. Mmm, it smells so good. Blue sagewood, you've got the candles burning, you've got your chocolate, you've got your wine, you've got your wreath on the wall, you've got your basket, you've got fresh flowers. Well, fake flowers. <laughs> Let's pretend they're fresh. I mean, come on, right? It makes a difference. You're reading your book, you're catching up on relaxation time, you don't even care what time it is, you're having the time of your life. Home decor literally makes me feel relaxed in my house and I challenge you, if you have not thought it does, to think and get some cute decor. I love this fig tree, these are everything. I love the pillows, I love the light colors, I love the fabric, I love the stitching. This pillow wins the day for me. I'm loving the texture and the print on these. They have cozy chairs, they have pillows, they have plants, they have wreaths, they have pictures, they have candles, they have everything your little decorating heart desires. Yes, decorating is pamper. Create a space that you can relax in. We can't always go to the beach. We can't always go on vacation. Make your space a place you can relax in. And I just turned around and it says refresh your home. I am the refresh girl. Target knows what's up. Look at these super cute decor and look at these baskets on the bottom. They've got black gold, white. The white is like that soft textured boho. They've got spring wreaths. They've got plants. They've got pillows. They have everything that you mamas need to be pampered. Refresh your home. Refresh yourself. I'm feeling all the relaxation vibes. I just smelled these candles. This one's definitely coming home with me. It smells amazing. It's only $10 and it has creamy island coconut blended with herbal lemongrass highlights, sage creamy vanilla with a touch of smooth blonde woods. It wins the day for candles for me. That is coming home. Look at all these cute flowers. Now you can go into your bedroom. You can cuddle up with your fresh blanket. You can have your flowers. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling like you need to be pampered yet? This was one of the aisles I was looking for. So I love these plugins that you can put the waxes in. They have so many different options. You want the smell to be good. Look at how cute these diffusers are. That's what these are called, right? No, these are warmers, not diffusers. But look at how cute these are. I'm loving all the options here. They've got white. They have ones that plug into your wall. They have ones that stand on your counter that you plug in. Loving this nice clean collection they have here. And then here's the diffusers. So I love these. You can put these by your bathtub. You can put these in your room. Maybe you can put them all throughout the house and it'll just give everyone a nice, ooh, let's relax relaxation vibes. They've got tons of options. I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling because the entire aisle smells so good and it smells like Mother's Day relaxation time.
Okay, so I can't find what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a foot bath. Do they not sell those anymore? Because in my mind, I'm like, I just wanna literally sit and put my feet with the Epsom salts in a foot bath with chocolate and wine, and I can't find it anywhere. Like, I'm literally, I'm looking for a Target person because I don't know where it could be. Where, they have foot baths still, right? They have to. I still haven't found it. I'm still looking for a Target person too, but I just happened to wander into the sheets department and the blankets. If you guys don't have good sheets, you need good sheets. Like you need to be able to crawl into your bed after the kids have been going crazy, after you had a long day at work and you need good sheets. They have some really fun patterns of sheets. I'm kind of liking that. And I don't know if you knew this about Nicole, but I'm kind of a sheet snob. I absolutely love this collection from Target. It is actually like a linen set. It is super soft. It's super like boho-ish. It has a really nice like texture to it. They also have it in a regular kind of material, but it's kind of almost like, it's not satin. I don't like satin. It's not silk, but it's just a really good thread count. It's a really good collection. And then I've also used the Threshold Signature. So the sheets are a little bit more expensive, but like you, you visit those babies every day. So you gotta have some good sheets. They have adorable, super soft sweater blankets. Kind of digging this light, nice neutral color, but I'm liking all of these earth tones with this color. And they've got the matching, ooh, it's a duvet cover. Oh my gosh, this is a blanket. <gasps> Look at this one too. I've been, you know, I've seen this so many places and my friends are like, oh, you could make it. Really, can you make it? Can you make this? Because I can't make this. See, this is literally in the sheets aisle. They know that you need a diffuser. They know you need a candle. They know you need nice sheets to relax where you can get calm and comfort. I don't know if you guys can hear this song, but I'm liking it. I'm gonna go find a Target person. We gotta find the foot bath. All of you mamas need a foot bath. Okay, so I was totally looking in the wrong section. I was like near the bath products, like the towels. It's actually near like foot pads near the medicine, I'm kind of shocked, but this should be in a more pampering spot, but they have a foot spa. You guys need a foot spa in your life. I'm still not over the placement of the foot spa. Like it should be near the towels and the sheets and the candles because it's relaxing, not in like the medicine aisle. Okay, so I don't know if this will relax and pamper you guys, if, but you might be crazy like me, so it's worth a shot. I get super relaxed when I organize my stuff. So they have planners, they have calendars, they have really cute ones. I like to write with like fancy cute pens. They have lots of different planner options. So whatever style you like, they have. Don't let them tame you, I'm loving that. Don't be like the rest of them, darling. Talk to me, planners, talk to me. This is actually the brand that I get. I use the Day Designer. Mine is a little bit, it's like a hard cover. It's, a, it's like a step up from this one. I can put the link below, but love the Day Designers. They just have tons of room and I love the way it's organized. They got koozies for all those days of relaxation. You guys need drink holders, good vibes. I'm probably the only crazy person that literally looks at the hanger aisle and gets relaxed. In case you're like your girl, get yourself on black velvet hangers, organize your closet, organize your clothes, get relaxed. I was literally about to say, oh my gosh, it's a picnic basket, go get relaxed, go to the park. It's a laundry basket. We don't wanna do laundry to pamper ourselves, but it is cute. Just for fun, and in case any of you love different baskets and cute decor to organize your stuff, if not, you can appreciate how adorable are these for organizing. I'm loving this one here. So cute. So many options. So many baskets. Thank you, Target. You guys have to get yourself a self-help book. It is going to motivate you, which is going to pamper you, which is going to relax you, which is going to fuel you. If you have not read Rachel Hollis's books, girl, go do it. I'm obsessed with her. I have not read this one yet, but I heard it's absolutely amazing. This Untamed. I see Joanna down there. Grab yourself a good book. Escape to the beach. Escape to the bathtub. Escape it to your new sheets in your bed and go find your passion. Next on the list has got to be some jammies. Let's see what super cute ones they have. They've got tons of comfy options. They've got these ones that are the tops and then they come with the pants and the bathrobe. They've got all different colors. Bathrobe for those face masks. Ooh, and this is pretty soft. I'm liking this bathrobe at Target. Which is this, that's the tag. 
Bath robes at Target coming in at $37.99. Not bad. They have it in gray. And they've got these jammies. They have shorts and they also have them in pants. And these are $17.99 and they have pockets. I love pockets in my PJs. So many super cute things, right? I hope you guys are already in your car and you're like, I'm going to Target. I'm going to get stuff to pamper myself for Mama's Day because you guys deserve to have an awesome relaxation Mother's Day. They have some amazing products. I love Target. It's time to make those shopping lists for yourself and not just what everybody else needs because we deserve a day where we can get what we want and be pampered. And side note, I'm lost. I can't find my car. I can't find it in the parking lot. I found my car. No need to panic. It's only been 20 minutes. 20 minutes, I found the car. We found all of the stuff to get pampered. We found the car. I hope you guys have made your list and you guys are ready to go shop at Target. If you would like to check me out, be sure to go look at my Facebook and Instagram. If you have not already, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Ring that bell so you guys never miss a beat or a basket or a shopping trip at Target. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. but he was watching his favorite show and I was just getting out of the shower and I was asking him how he was doing and he runs in and gives me this big hug and he's like mommy you need to come see what I made you and you know us mamas when our kids make us something it's like oh what did you make us and when they're little they give us like the little flower and they make us those Mother's Day gifts at school with like their handprint and it's so cute right so super cute but he was so excited I'm like well bring it to me he's like I can't bring it you have to come here and I'm like like, what is so heavy that he can't lift that he can't bring it? Like, I started to think. And then he brings me into the living room and he's like, look, I drew you a picture. You guys, he drew a picture on our flat screen television with permanent marker. Okay? Now, I, I instantly was like, oh my gosh, your dad is going to flip out. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, like, we just bought this. This is, I'm like, what did you use? He showed me the marker and like, it was thought, he didn't know. He should have known better, not, no, that's not, not, that's not paper. But like, he didn't really know. So it's like, I, I wanted to yell, I wanted to react, I wanted to scream, but it was also like, okay, he's three or he's four, however old he was. And like, he didn't mean to, but like, okay, that's not paper. Like, we don't draw on that, we draw on paper. So I freaked out and I'm like, okay, think about this. Think about this rationally, Nicole. Like, what are you gonna do? And I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I like Googled it. I couldn't figure anything out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe I should call the TV company because maybe this has happened before. Like maybe there's another mama out there who is in this panic mode and they call the TV company. So I remember I called the TV company and she started hysterically laughing at me and I'm like, this isn't funny. I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny. I don't know. I just don't know. He's laughing. I'm not laughing. Like, I don't know. It's just not funny. How do I get the permanent marker off of the television before his dad gets home and before the TV's ruined? Like, how do we do it? She told me to test a tiny, tiny spot with rubbing alcohol. You guys, don't take my word for it because I don't know what kind of screen it was. I don't know all the logistics of it, but all I can tell you is the rubbing alcohol took the permanent marker off the TV screen and saved the day, okay? So I don't know if that would still work because I don't know what kind of TV it was, but there was a beautiful ocean view that he made for his mama on Mother's Day, not on paper, but on a TV screen. So I had a panic attack, but we solved the problem. But I'm curious, do any of you guys have funny Mother's Day stories like that? Or even just a story in general, like what is the worst thing your kid has done? Like do they color on the walls? I would have rather my kid color on the wall. Like I can repaint the wall. For a split second, I'm like, the TV, the TV's ruined. Like with, and it had to have been a Sharpie. Like it couldn't have been Crayola washable markers but it all ended up working out. But I'm just curious if you guys have a funny story like that. These kiddos do the craziest things and us mamas literally get to laugh after the fact, right? So that's my story. Thank you guys for staying till the end to hear something special about my life. In this case, something 
funny, crazy, panic, it all worked out. So I'll see you guys next time. If you guys have a question that you'd wanna ask me in one of my future videos, drop it in the comments and I will be sure to answer you guys so we can get to know each other. I love you guys. Happy Mama's Day. You guys are the best mamas ever. You deserve the world. Bye guys.